Okay, I got two short pieces. The first one's called Hip Hop. I met Hip Hop on my way into town. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and had a striking smile, he said. Baby girl, your history is richer than gold. It's your God-given duty to inspire the globe. So I stepped back and envisioned the world. Only to realize that hip hop had lost its groove, its crew, and most importantly, its truth. A rhythmic nation of, among a lost generation who've sold their souls to make money as video hoes. And MCs who like mic control while spitting explicit lyrics that poison the ears only to be repeated by you. Why? Why, I ask? Because we lack taste when money's the case, while mainstream stares you in the face and demands you change your ways. And among a lost generation, it's no coincidence that you sold out once you made enough green for that mansion in Queens. So I take another step back and reflect on the past. When hip hop was beat boys and beat girls who spit lyrics on street corners that spoke the truth and invoked a groove. One nation under all that was good and uplifting black parties in the hood and the sweet, sweet smell of soul food. I begged hip hop to take me back in the past where sellouts exist not and the original mind stays hot, only to inspire their heart's desire of better ways and better days. I missed hip hop on my way into town. He was nowhere in sight, but he left me a note that read real loud and bold like graffiti on the wall. He said, stay true to you, stay true to your soul, stay true, baby girl. Thank you. And my second piece has no title still after two years. She looked right at me with no hesitation in her snotty, privileged voice and said, did you wear shoes growing up in Africa? And of course, in my mind, having heard this question so many times, I proceeded in saying, shoes? Of course not. I ran miles in a hot desert sand in a 98 degrees, not the boy band, but the heat that ran down my back wearing nothing but a cloth to hide my naked body parts with Rafiki and Nala and the Kuna Matata cause it's a problem for your philosophy when your backyard's a jungle and your best friend happens to be on one of those 75 cents could save a child commercial because that was her assumption when she asked me did you wear shoes growing up in Africa? Her ignorance left me speechless when she said it must be just like the Discovery Channel. All I could think was poor young American miss, so misled by her ignorance. So I rolled my eyes and walked away. So please, think before you speak. And if the question sounds ignorant in your head, don't bother to ask. Just hope the Discovery Channel's next episode will be ignorance in its natural habitat. Thank you. Woo!